Look at these players, we talked to them, Jim, and the coaches, to think back to training camp when you have all those wonderful thoughts. The season's going to fall our way. We're going to get it done. Well, it happened. So here you are in this game today, this wild card game. Can you play again next week? That's the big question. Cooks is the deep back for the opening kick. The 49ers ready here for the kickoff. Let's get it started. It's playoff time. Spiller's got it. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Taking the field now is Super Bowl 44 MVP Drew Brees, who was fabulous that night down in Miami when he defeated the Indianapolis Colts. from the 22. Looking long to Colston. Intercepted. And he's brought to the ground. Garoppolo is going to be leading the team today, of course. Three years of competition in this league and now starting to find his rhythm. The Saints lined up in the nickel. First down at the 44. Looking for some daylight up the middle. Here's a look at the offense. And if they're going to win today, this group of wide receivers must go vertical. They must open up the game for the offense. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Let's go. 188. Hand on. Slashing to the right side. Ducks out of bounds. Really setting the tone here early with the big running play that time. They took advantage, Jim, of a defense that's out of position. Nice job by the running back taking advantage of it, and he picks up big yards. at the 30-yard line. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. And the flag is down. The defense will take the penalty. The football sits at the 40. The Saints defense now is going to go nickel. First and 20. Gets it out for the completion. Alexander's met after a gain of eight. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. 
That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. Corey Smith on the receiving end. Here's a look at the defense with its ball-hawking secondary. Snapping the football from the 28. The Saints with a nickel look here on defense. Third down and eight. Has the grab. McFadden's there that time for the tackle. The 49ers on their offensive play sheet, they don't have many plays for third and long situations, but that is a really nice job that time by the offense, the quarterback. They pick up the first down. That'll get you going. Let's see how they back up the big play here. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Looking to go up top again on first down. Stepping up to the line at the six-yard line. Second and goal from the six. And it's knocked down. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Third and goal from the six. Pants. Touchdown, San Francisco. What a great job by the offense getting on the board. And, man, that'll get rid of some jitters here in the wild card round. You nervous? Playoffs. Take that football down there and score. That'll settle those nerves down. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. Spiller's got it. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. And Ingram's lined up as the single back. The Saints take it from the 23. Navarro Bowman brings him down. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second and three after that last carry. Ingram carries the football, and he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Ingram's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Breeze lined up, empty backfield. First and ten. Looking middle that time, and it's incomplete. Here's a look at the offensive unit that needs to get off to a strong start today.
after the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Ingram, solo back set. Midway through the first. And, but the hit knocks the ball out. This defensive front has been the talk all week long. And Phil, we met with them in our production meetings this week. They know they'll have a chance to get to the quarterback today. It sets up third and ten. The Saints get set at the line, needing to get to the 46 for a first. Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun. And it's swatted away. This defense is unbending on third down at the start of this game, Phil. Yeah, Jim, they've been good on the defensive side. I don't... I can't say much for the offense that's going against them, though. No imagination. Just running ordinary plays. They deserve to be stopped. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The 49ers offense preparing to get this drive underway. Their last drive actually ended in a touchdown, Phil. We'll see if they still have it in them to issue a repeat performance. Well, what you saw in that last drive was everything just came together perfectly for them. The experience of the football team, the talent of the players, and the coaches helped them out. They got it done. First down at the 20. Takes it from the eye. That's a gain of seven. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it, and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The 49ers from the 27. Hand off, out of the eye formation. That's just not a good call on the offensive side. You know, when it's second and short, they, they think, well, let's just pick up the first down. If the defense was ready, you got to have better play calling than that. It'll be third down. Back to him. Trying to power his way right up the middle. Games in the NFL can hinge on third and short. Who could pick him up and who could stop him? How about that play that time by the defense? They stopped the third and short run, and now it's fourth down. Spiller's got it on the return. That's a gain of eight. The Saints offense trying to buck the trend that's taken hold here as they come out for this next drive. Defense has taken over. Each team has been forced to punt on its last possessions. Well, I got some information for them, or some advice, I should say, Jim. Don't try too hard, because when you go out there and try too hard to buck a trend like this where the defense is playing well, it usually leads to a mistake. Lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. The Saints will take the snap from the 35. And Ingram's tackled down at the 36. Ingram's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. After that run, it's still third and nine to go. Breeze got no one behind him, just a quarterback waiting for the snap. Heaving it down the field. He caught it. Lane's there to take him down. What a beautiful throw and what a nice catch. The receiver just kept his head down, waited to the last second, and looked the football in. Big play gets tackled just short of the end zone. From inside the red zone.
That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. The punt up with Mark Ingram. Picks up about two. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You've got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Second and goal at the one. Gives it to him again. And Eric Reed brings a halt to that last attempt. This will be interesting to see how the defense plays this situation. They're up a touchdown. Will they be aggressive or play it safe? I know one thing. If they give up three points, they'll be very happy. see linebackers moving around like this and he's across for the touchdown and that touchdown Phil here late in the first ties the game yeah it ties it up and it gets him out of a little hole and of course it gives the offense a lot of a lot of confidence and on the defensive side they have struggled early but maybe they can start to pick things up balls on the tee got a tie game now the scores seven to seven That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Saints defense would like to repeat what it did the last drive, not being out there too long, just three plays and forcing a punt. Well, they're going back out there. They're fresh, man, in the defensive line, the defensive front. They were awesome. That's why they got off the field so quickly. First down at the 20. They'll run it here. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's that's nice. We're back here getting ready for the second quarter. Phil, that was a defensive tug of war the first quarter. It sure was, and it was a tug of war, and it was boring. That's what it looked like. I, I, I want to give the defense some credit. I thought they did well, but really the offense is just poor play selection, poor execution, and you got to get some emotion going out there on the offensive side. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Second and eight. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's a zone. And you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. Third and short. They'll go ground. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. That time, nice job. Offensive line gives him a little hole and he gets in there and shows his toughness and picks up the first down. Well, let's go. Right, now first and ten. Takes another handoff. Tackled down at the 47. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting and they hold the running back to a short game. Bill, you came through in the clutch many times in the postseason. Was it you just weren't as prepared for the regular season. You just didn't care as much. Why did you star so much in the playoffs? Well, you're right. It's just a regular season game, so nobody cared. So I wanted to wait till the spotlight was on. And it's batted down. <laughs> on the way, third down. The 49ers get set at the line and need to get to the 46 for a first. McDonald makes the grab. When the football's in the air, the receiver on the curl route has to see it and come back towards the quarterback. That's what he did that time. That's why they got the completion.
First down here after the completion. To the ground. Got the first, and he's got some space. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Got the completion. Gains 16. That's another reception given to. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? Garoppolo's completion percentage 70% on the day. Goal line defense on the field. They're going to run it on the toss. He is in for the touchdown. 50. Midway through the second quarter, they put themselves in front with that touchdown, Phil. Hey, that touchdown could be a difference maker in this game. You never know. So really well called by the offensive coordinator and executed perfectly by the offensive players. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. Navarro Bowman marching back onto the field now. Their defense has had a lot to do with them getting out to this lead, and he's been the one setting the tone, Phil. Yeah, Jim, I love the way he plays. He's had a terrific day so far. His toughness, I think that's his greatest ball. And he's brought down by Antoine Buffet. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. That'll be second and four after the running play. Breeze from the shotgun. Cooks got it on a pass that had some heat. When you play man-to-man -man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Gets the handle here. Slashes to the left side. Gets about nine on the play. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good positive run breeze and shotgun formation pulls it in now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field I know it looks easy but it's not but a nice throw on the slant route slant route means you're slanting towards the inside good throw and catch uh, Bill is someone who certainly started the postseason. What was the difference for you between regular season and, and postseason play? Jim, so many things to talk about there, but I tell you the one thing you always notice as a, as a player during the playoffs. When you took the field, you knew it was different because truly there was electricity in the stadium. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy, he gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. Breeze now completed four in a row. The pass play picks up only two. So now it's second down and eight following the completion. Mark Ingram carries the football. And he is tackled at the 44. Ingram's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run. But there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Gonna take it from the shotgun. Scans the field. Breeze connects with Colston. Colston's tackled right at the 20. That's his first reception today. All the quarterbacks in the NFL, they'd all be great if they had all day to throw like this. When you give an average quarterback this kind of time, 
he turns into a great quarterback. Halftime, two minutes away. Following the two-minute warning, we've got a defense trying to maintain the lead as we head towards halftime. Spillers shifted out wide to the left as a receiver. Davis is there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. Good job that time by the ball carrier, picking up what he can, and he is very smart. Gets out of bounds and stops the clock. Breeze completion percentage, 60% on the day. Coming to the line at the three. First and goal from the three. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. Bennett's one of those guys, if he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows, no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. Second down following that incompletion. The 49ers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Three Saints in for the score. The Saints will tie it up with this extra point. And the extra point is good. The 49ers about to receive the kick after this game was just tied before halftime. The scores 14 to 14. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The 49ers offense would like to drive for another touchdown, only they would like to think that this time it won't go to waste and their defense might step up at some point here, Phil. Well, all they can do is just go out there and score again. Don't worry about your defense. Don't start thinking about that. Worry about your job, what you're doing on the offensive side, because what you have been doing has been terrific. Quick drop back. Vance McDonald with the reception. Third catch today so far. So far, wonderful execution this drive. When you get a chance to get out of bounds, here the offensive player got the yardage, had a chance, gets out of the bounds, stops the clock. Good job by the offense. Garoppolo, completion percentage, 70% on the day. For a gain of about five. He's now over 80 yards rushing on the day. You're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't fumble the football, I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. First down and 10. Airing it out. And it falls incomplete. They went for the home run ball there, Phil, but just could not make the play. Yeah, you want to do this. You always want to throw the football deep at least four or five times a game because you want to make the defensive backs uncomfortable. If you let them get comfortable, they'll start jumping those short ones. These guys won't do that anymore now. Get ready. Red 38. Red 38. The 49ers have it at the 44. McDonald makes the grab. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. McDonald's so fast, you have to back off of him. Why? Because you don't want him to run by you and go deep down the field. So that time he breaks the out route, the quarterback puts it right on target, and he makes the catch just short of the first down marker. And the offense will need three yards here on third down after the completion. The 49ers get set at the line, needing to get to the 46 for a first. Garoppolo is going to take it from the gun. Should have had it. McDonald's going to be so mad at himself for dropping that football because receivers, you never know when your chance is going to come. And then finally, you get open. They call a play where you're the, the primary guy. It's right there, and you drop it. Well, don't get down on yourself. Stay up. A football will come your way again. A punt 
just like it was drawn up. And now the defense has them backed into the corner. The 49ers defense comes onto the field after surrendering a touchdown on the last drive. Well, they're hoping for better results. No question about that, Jim. They got to come out. They got to hustle. There was not enough hustle last time. And the number one key for all defensive teams is play hard. Way to call them out there, partner. Hey, that's what I do. I like to call them. Ingram's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. After running it, it's second down. Neither offense able to pull away in a first half that saw two defenses matching each other step for step. Larry Ridley coming up next to break down this first half. And this will be coming out to the 20 as he thinks better of running it out of the end zone this time. The 49ers come out onto the field, now looking to get something positive going here to take the lead in this game, Phil, as we start the second half. Yeah, they would like to do that. Of course, you always want to take the lead, but when you get into the second half and you get on top, man, that starts to put the pressure on the other team. So that's their thinking. I, I think they will come out here and be very aggressive to start the second half. Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. McDonald's taken down at the 25. Hard to guard these tight ends now in the NFL. It really puts the defense in like a quandary. Do we use a big guy? Well, the big guy's not fast enough. We use a small guy? Well, he's not big enough. They get pushed around. I don't know what you're going to do. Just make sure you're a good tackler after they catch it. Trying to beat the play clock. Garoppolo standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Picks up about five. Sixth catch today so far. What a nice catch by the receiver. Get past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. will take the snap from the 30. And that's a gain of maybe five. Phil, today we've seen a running back who was putting up some big rushing totals. Jim, sometimes I get tired of talking about the quarterbacks and wide receivers, how well they're doing. What a good change of pace to watch the game evolve around a running back. And, man, this guy is taking advantage of those opportunities. Second down and five. McDonald with the reception. McDonald's brought down after picking up just a yard. The 49ers have not needed to adjust this aspect of their offense. McDonald's a huge target, and no one seems to be able to cover him today. I love the game plan by the offense here today. They knew the weakness was going to be can they cover the tight end, and they were right. Keep throwing him the football. The 49ers snap it at the 36. He's got the catch. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. Let's go. Garoppolo's completion percentage, 70% on the day. He's got a little bit of daylight here. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. He's now past the 100-yard mark on the day. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. First down at the 43. The catch is made. Games 14. That's his third catch of the day. Well, you get a couple first downs on a drive. It just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. It loosens up the offensive play caller, and there's nothing like dictating to the defense. I love it. Let's go. The 
49ers have it at the 29. Catch made. Tackle made by Bird that time. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Garoppolo's completed his last six passes. That pass play picked up only four. Second down and six coming up. Let's go. Go get it. Play. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. He's averaging right around seven yards per carry on the game. Well, not many yards to get there on that play, but it doesn't matter. What a day and what a job this running back has, has done here. Now third and short following the run. Garoppolo's got it in the gun. And the completion to Torrey Smith. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. You got to be able to adjust when you run these drag routes across the field. The throw cannot always be right on target. Can you reach behind, make the catch, and keep going full speed? That's the sign of a good receiver. What a drive this has been. When we were in practice on Friday, Jim, this team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all their practice pays off. He's got over 110 yards rushing on the day. The 49ers know once they get inside the 20-yard line, you have to be able to run the football also. It can't be pass, pass, pass all the time. The offensive line comes through. Good solid run that time. The 49ers set the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. The ball is charred out of his hands. Got to give this secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. Now looking at third down. The Saints lined up in the nickel. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. The 49ers were very effective on that scoring drive, especially via the pass. Over 50 passing yards on that scoring drive. Spiller's got a chance for a return. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Saints offense trots out onto the field looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think you need to try a few different ones here in the second half. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. Third catch today so far. Well, if you guard the tight end close, it, it, sometimes that doesn't matter. They're so big and they got long arms. They can still make the catch. Quarterbacks give them a chance. They get it done. Breeze completion percentage, 60% on the day. The Saints will take the snap from the 25. Simpson's got it, and a first. The Saints did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and. You know, you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. At the 34, 66 yards from pay dirt. First down at the 34. Bowman's able to read that play and make the hit. The Saints have tried a couple of different ways to get the running game going, but it hasn't paid off. And Ingram's been shut down from his very first carry on. No balance by this offense, like you said today. They can't run the football, but I've said this all the time. It's not always about just dominating physically and blocking up front. Running backs have to do their part. They have to make good decisions, and they got to break some tackles. 
It's caught by Cooks. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches, running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. Breeze now completed four in a row. Third and five. He'll throw it over the middle. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. The Saints look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. First down at the 48. Almost made the catch, but the collision jarred it loose. Bennett's really hit hard that time. And I know the football hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. It's a two tight end formation. Here's the handoff. That's a tackle right near the 48. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. Third long situations. A lot of coordinators in this league will run a draw play on third long. Why? Because they're just looking for field position, pick up a few yards, and then by some miracle, if the running back is able to make guys miss, break some tackles, and pick up a first down, man, that's just great. Breeze lines up in the pistol. The final quarter begins with this snap. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. The Saints will punt the football. in on the tackle and a run back of about four you see the matchup in running back and while only one side has really been able to count on that run game it's still a very close game yeah it is Jim close game here and also that can happen when you talk about run games they're going to go up and down and if you're having trouble running the football then change the direction of your offense do something else the 49ers have been in a fight today. The scores 21 to 14. First down at the 18. Strong eye handoff here. Tackle made by Browner that time. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also. It opens up so many other things for your offense. Let's go. Fred, 38. Fred, 38. Second and short. To Smith. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. The 49ers offense has been tough today. They are fighting out there on the field. That's a nice job picking up that first down. It's been fun to watch. They got a small lead here in the second half. We'll see if that first down can lead them to a score. First down at the 32. On the money. McFadden's going to make the tackle. The 49ers have been fantastic on offense today, and that's big for this team because the offense has struggled oftentimes this season. Well, to say they've struggled oftentimes this season is a big understatement, Jim. They've been borderline awful, but maybe they have found something that's going to work for them and get them on the right path. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They're back at the line Let's go. after that catch for a first down. Second down now. Well, 
Tossed to the outside. Tackle made by Bird that time. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. following the run. Hyde takes his spot in the backfield. McDonald makes the grab. Game's five. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. An extra tight end on the field for this one. The 49ers will take the snap from the 45. Gillette's in on the tackle. When you lead the game in the fourth quarter and you're on offense, you are looking to use the time up on the clock. So that was a nice play call by the offense to run. Defense stops it for a short game. Here they come to the 41-yard line. Second down and six. Another carry here. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. He's averaging right around seven yards per carry on the game. Good job that time by the defense. They're down. It's in the fourth quarter. They are expecting the offense to run the football, and they stop it for a couple yards. After that last carry, it's third and three. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. The play clock's running down. Vance McDonald with the reception. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Tim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. better hurry to get the snap he takes it on the counter that's a gain of six nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run and the defense being too aggressive they're over pursuing so you do the little counter go the opposite direction and it works well and davis is lined up directly behind the quarterback here Second and four. Toss to the outside. Into the open. Games 16. Tim, there's just nothing like just controlling the football game. You got a lead, and now here your offense is on the field and just marching right down. This will be the 11th play of the drive. We're late in the fourth, and the offense is just trying to sit on the lead. Torrey Smith with the reception. That's reception number four for him. The 49ers offensive coordinator does a good job that time calling the pass down here in the red zone. Caught the defense off guard. They got the completion for a good game. If they're going to have any chance at all here late in the fourth, the defense must make a big stop and give the ball back to the offense. Takes it across, and he's in for the touchdown. That touchdown almost assuredly was the nail in the coffin. Oh, it, it absolutely was, wasn't it? And listen, the game is always won in the trenches, and what I mean by that today, the offensive line won the... They won the battle. They beat the defensive line all over the field. The pass protection was tremendous, and the run blocking was very good. That's why they won the game easily. And a touchback. The 49ers defense, Bill, where are they right now mentally after 
the last time giving up a couple of first downs, but in the end, forcing the punts. They, they feel great. And, I, and I'll give a lot of credit to the coaches on the sideline. I thought they put the players in good positions, and the players took advantage of it. That's a ball that should have been caught. Cook's unable to bring that pass in, Jim. He just took his eyes off the football. And when you do that, it's usually going to result in a drop. And those things happen. It's not a perfect game. you got to overcome adversity. I think this guy will do it. Next time it comes his way, he'll make the catch. Second down and 10. It's complete over to Brandon Cooks. Sometimes you got to give the coaches credit. They design a play that's smart easy for the players to manage and what we got there is a throw and a catch and now they have a pretty good chance to get the first down trailing every third down so big at this point just two minutes left of this one we're back now for the end of the fourth quarter third down and four had it for just a second but then it came out on contact that's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Crucial play here. Fourth down on the way. Looking across the middle, it's intercepted, and that's going to end the comeback attempt. That's got to be the game ender here, partner. The interception basically ices it. It does. You know, sometimes when you're behind as a quarterback, you take a chance, and that time the chance was just too great. Nice play by the defense. The 49ers will be trying to make it three successful drives in a row as they retake the field here on offense, partner. They got a great feeling from the offense so far. In other words, they're confident, they feel good, so you need to keep calling plays that keeps the, the offensive players in a positive frame of mind. You do that, hey, I wouldn't be surprised to see him march down here and score again. Pushing a foul, face mask. Defense. Boy, his head got yanked back the other way. An obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. Now, cutting to the right, 49ers in for the score. Finding the end zone for the second time. Those should be all the points they need to polish this one off. That was a beating that started at the beginning of the game, and it never stopped. What a great job by the offense and the football team. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. And no return here, so Breeze will start this drive from the 20. The 49ers defense has set the standard today, and they have this unit to thank when this game's over with the win. Oh, boy, they're going to be proud of what they did out here in this game. The, the discipline they have shown, they were aggressive. The coach was calling all the right plays for them, and they made it happen. Breeze ready for the snap, empty backfield. Breeze from the shotgun throws the pass. Brock's the one who brings him to the ground. That little throw was good for only three. So it's now second down and seven. Holding on to the timeout. They'll rush back to the line. He'll throw it over the middle. Davis tackled down after a gain of five. The Saints are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Breeze in shotgun formation. Gets it out for the completion. And that's a gain of 13. That's his third catch of the day. Well, you can't play man-to-man, -man, Jim, every single play. Every once in a while, you got to throw in the zone. That's what they did this past play. Hey, it was a good idea. It just didn't work. Breeze completion percentage, 60% on the day. First and 10. Unable to bring it in. 
Ingram's going to go back to the huddle and look at all of his teammates and go by bad. Well, they know it's your bad. Everybody, even the offensive linemen, they saw you were open and you dropped the pass that was right to you. But, hey, that's the way it goes. You know, you got to keep the confidence up. I think he will, and I'm sure the football will find its way towards him again soon. Second and ten. This play will hold up. He's inbounds. Well, that's a nice throw that time by the quarter. We have a review coming from the booth. There's no question he caught the ball, but there is a question whether or not he got both feet in bounds. Well, first off, you want to make sure it's a clean catch on the sidelines. Does he have possession of the football? And then once you declare he has possession of the football, let's look down at both feet, see if they're in bounds, and don't forget, you must must maintain possession of the football the as you go to the ground. And after a quick review, the word has come in. The play on the field will stand. First down here after the completion. Breeze going to take the snap from the shotgun. And it's swatted away. What a good job by the offensive line. They gave the quarterback all day to throw it. He just couldn't put it on target. The Saints all bunched up here as they get set at the line. The Saints snap it at the 41. Throws it toward the sideline. And what a catch. Davis had an off week after really having a huge role last time out, Parker. Well, I'd say this to the defense, don't relax. This guy is always a threat, and he couldn't break out at any moment. The Saints in the pistol formation. The Saints take it from the 38. The pass down the field by Drew Brees, and it falls incomplete. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time, and it's a drop pass. And not a favorable bounce this time as it's headed to the end zone for a touchback. A lot of things have to go wrong in any game for it to be this one-sided. But you look at the matchup at running back, and it's certainly just one more thing that stands out. Yeah, when you run the football well, we all know you control the tempo of the game. And also, you get in all the situations that favor your offense and your defense. That's why they're blowing the other team out. Takes it out of the eye. Averaging right around seven yards per carry on the game. Well, that's just the right call to make in this situation. Just run the football. Don't try to be some genius and catch the defense off guard. Manage the clock and just get this game over with. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Let's go. Two in the Two. Hand off made. That's a gain of six. Excitement on one side, disappointment on the other. Only one team can move on to the divisional round. Well, you didn't get that first round by in the playoffs, but you get a first round win. You'll win a wild card game, and now moving on to the divisional. Yeah, you're excited about it, Jim. You uh, win in a playoff game, and you got that rhythm going. In other words, you played well during the regular season.